Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at these little purple coin cell holders which hold a 3 volt battery and coincidentally a 3 volt battery is the perfect amount of electricity to light up a single white LED. Now as you look at the board you can see four large holes. Those aren't actually meant for screws, those are meant for thread, conductive thread. This way you can sew them into your textile projects. But we're going to use screws to attach them to wood. I've used these little boards before and I've always used very small screws from Home Depot, uh, like a number four pan head. But I really wanted to get something smaller. So I ordered this set and uh, well if I ever want to open an eyeglass repair shop these will be perfect. However, they're a little too small for this so I gave my friends at Amazon a call, well actually I went online and ordered a slightly larger set of metric screws. These are going to be much better. These are like M2, M3 screws of different lengths. These will work out, I think, just about perfectly. We've got two different boxed sets of uh, little metric screws at about $12 each. So, so far we're into this for about 24 bucks. Not too bad. But of course then I had to go up to Harbor Freight and pick up a new screwdriver set. I figured since these screws are so tiny I didn't want to go stripping them out so we'll just pick up an inexpensive little set. Not a great screwdriver set but for six or seven dollars it's not bad. And all this just to get a better fitting screw on our little purple coin cell holder. Well if you're gonna do something it's worth overdoing. Okay here are the four sew tabs that we'll actually use for the uh, screws. Now the battery goes right in the front so I don't want to use either of these front tabs to put a screw in. So we'll just give it a little bit of a spin and we will choose one of the, uh, the rear tabs, the rear positive tabs. Even though these are really tiny screws and they are self-tapping, I always like to put a little bit of a pilot hole in the wood just to make things easier to get started. And another thing I like to do is just use a drop of uh, a CA glue, a gel glue, just to make sure nothing slips around, the board doesn't slip around. Even though we have a screw in there, it's always a good idea just to have that little bit of glue. Oh, and uh, by the way, after $24 worth of screws, I ended up using an M2 by six millimeter screw. Now I'm just adding a little bit of flux, using a flux pen, into the sew tabs. What I'm going to do next is just add a little blob of solder into these sew tabs and uh, when I go to apply my pre-tinned wire, it will just make the connections much quicker and a bit more solid. And here we are with the pre-tinned wires. Just a little bit of heat onto those uh, blobs of solder I added earlier into the sew tabs. I usually go red to positive, black to negative, and um, we've got good looking connections. We're all set here. Our little single white LED project is finished. Another very nice thing about this is you don't have to worry about resistors because the internal resistance of these coin cells is, is reasonably high and the forward voltage matches up nicely with a single white LED. Our little lighting project is finished. Thanks very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, why not like and subscribe to our channel? We'll see you next time.